Today, I'm gonna to show you keyboard shortcuts to help you master the pen tool. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and I am so excited to show you these keyboard shortcuts for the pen tool because they make all the difference in the world. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop and get started. So here's our sample image for today. You can download this on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. Now, I want to cut this dolphin out of its background, and it's going to be relatively difficult to do with automatic tools. Like if I want to select and try to go to select subject, it's not really going to have an idea of which dolphin I want to cut out. And you can see it's not doing a great job. I mean, pretty good all in all, but you can see that's not going to really work well. Magic wand tool is not going to work well and things like that. So this is a great example of when you would want to use the pen tool. So let's go ahead and start off by hitting P for the pen tool, or you can go ahead and click on your pen tool icon right here. Now up at the very top, there are a couple of options that I recommend selecting. Go ahead to your gear icon up here. Let's click there. And then I recommend taking your thickness to three pixels. Your color, you can put it whatever you want. And then I recommend checking this rubber band option. This basically gives you a preview of what you're going to be creating. All my settings look good to go. Let's go ahead and start off with our trace around our subject. I always recommend starting with a point. Uh, what do I mean by that? Like where the tail, let's go ahead and zoom in here. See where the tail kind of meets the body. We have like an angled point. That's where I recommend starting your pen path. I don't recommend starting in the middle of a flat surface like this. It's just gonna give you a little bit of a jagged edge when you complete it. So go ahead and start right here at the point. So let's go ahead and click there. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is click and drag out to make our pen path. Okay, and you can see we have these two little points right here. These basically control where my path is gonna go. So you can see this point here is controlling my next point. And as I push and pull my tool around because I have rubber band turned on, you get a little preview, okay? This is gonna be pulling my pen path out that way. And in fact, it is, okay? This one in the back pulls out my back point. There we go. So let's go ahead and click and drag again. Now, if you just perfectly place all of your points by just clicking and dragging, then you don't really need that many keyboard shortcuts. But when it comes to realigning your pen paths, that's where the keyboard shortcuts really come in handy. So let's go ahead and start showing you our first keyboard shortcut, and that's holding Control or Command if you're on a Mac. So let's go ahead and create another point. And let's just say I kind of missed this point and I didn't do a great job here. Let's just kind of do a, a, a mediocre job. There we go. What everyone loves, a nice mediocre job. Okay, so you go back here and you look and it's like, oh man, I really missed that point. I need to move this point. Okay, and that's where control or command comes in handy. So control or command, let's go ahead and hold that. And you can see my tool becomes now the direct selection tool. Okay, so hold control or command. I can click on this point and that reactivates it. Now I can click on the point itself and move that point. Not only that, but I can click on this little arm here and I can move this point around too. And that's gonna help me define where these lines actually go. So again, I'm only holding control or command when I'm doing this. Now you can click on your main point, okay? You can click on each one of your anchor points, which changes how the curve works. Or, and here's what I think is the coolest thing, you can actually click on the curve itself. So still holding control or command, click on the curve itself, and then try to just put this where you want it. Perfect, and that looks really good. That helps out, especially if you're beginning, and these anchor points maybe haven't uh, set in with you just yet. All right, now, because we're nice and zoomed in, I'm gonna hold the space bar down, and we're gonna click and drag. There we go, this just allows me to move around while I'm zoomed in. Again, let's hold control or command, and I'm just gonna put that right to about where I want it. So you can see I'm able to do this. And this is all while still creating my pen path, by the way, okay? So this is a really, really helpful keyboard shortcut, just holding control or command, because it allows me to get the most out of what I'm doing and really allows me to more accurately cut out my subject. Okay, so now that that looks good, look at that, we've fixed that. We're just gonna continue on and we're gonna move to our next keyboard shortcut. And this is when you wanna create an angle. So. If you want all of your lines to be continuous, like a continuous curve like this, control or command is really the only one you need. But if you wanna do an angle, let's say you wanted to come up with a point and then down again, that's when you wanna use alt or option. So let's show you how to use it. Let's go ahead and click here right back on my pen path. We're gonna resume it. And you can see we have basically these two control points 
And that'd be okay if we were gonna continue on with a regular continuous curve, but we don't, we have an angle. So what I'm gonna do is hold Alt or Option. And what that's gonna do is basically turn my cursor to an upside down V, as we can see on the screen there. So Alt or Option, I'm gonna click and move this up, and now it's pointing in the right direction where we actually want it to go, okay? So we're gonna zoom out, and again, just click and drag. So most of the pen tool is just clicking and dragging, for your curves. And then again, here we have an angle, right? So I'm gonna click at the end of my angle and then drag out like this. Perfect. And then hold Control or Command to kind of bring this up and make sure everything aligns exactly how we want it to. So just Control or Command, there we go. Okay, so now we have another angle. So this is where we hold Alt or Option again. So let's hold Alt or Option, bring it right over this point and then click on it and then send it in the direction that we want it to go, okay? And then we're just clicking and dragging. There we go. Click and drag right over here. And then we'll get the dolphin's mouth again. Boom. Okay, so now we have another angle, Alt or Option, when we want to do the angles. And then we're going to go back here and click and drag. There we go. And you can see we're able to be so accurate with this. Now we have another dolphin fin intersecting our dolphin here. We're going to take care of that at the end. Don't worry about that. But we're just clicking and dragging. Now I do wanna show you one more thing that you can do with Alt or Option. Let's say you create a couple points, right, that are curves and you wanna turn them into angles. You can simply hold Alt or Option and click on your main point and that's going to remove the curves from that point. So I'm gonna do this just a couple of times just so you can see Alt or Option and I'm gonna click on these points. There we go. And we can see instead of having curves, now we have points, okay? So each one of these is points. I can hit undo and they're all gonna go back to regular curves or what you can do, let's just go ahead, I'm gonna create a nice example here. So click, 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 click. So if you don't click and drag, you just have points. So if you have an angle like this and you wanna convert it back to a continuous curve, hold Alt or Option and click and drag and look at that. Now these are continuous curves. You can kind of just click and drag because sometimes they go right the wrong way you want. You just kind of like right, you know, put them the right way and you're good to go. And then you can do this one too. So you can see we turned angles into curves and then I can turn these back into angles simply by holding Alt or Option and clicking on all these original points. Boop. And you can see all of these are just going back to angles. Okay, you can even click and drag and then one side you can take out and take that over there as well. Okay, so again, if you're gonna go from a curve to an angle or an angle back to a curve, Alt or Option is the keyboard shortcut you want. Let's go ahead and finish cutting out this dolphin. All right, I'm just gonna hit the undo button just a few times. So we'll go right back here. There we are. And continue on down our path. And we've got a couple more great examples of keyboard shortcuts with the pen tool. All right, almost done. I wanna finish up my selection. There we go. Here's a point, so we're gonna click and drag. Again, remember, we have an angle here, so we hold Alt or Option. Click and drag that out in the direction that we want it to go, and look at this. It makes using the pen tool so much easier. Just remembering, anytime you got an angle, Alt or Option, anytime you just wanna move a control point, that's gonna be Control or Command. And you can see here, really without much time at all, there we go, we got an angle, just click there click and drag there. Without much time at all, we're able to cut out our dolphin friend. We're friends. He told me. Alrighty. <laughs> I bet if dolphins could talk, you could have like a really interesting conversation because they're supposed to be pretty intelligent. Um, that, we, where's that technology? Come on, there's a lot of technologies that I'm less interested in than talking to dolphins. All right, <laughs> maybe that's why I'm not at the head of technology because there's probably way more important stuff. Uh, anyway, there we go, we've cut out our dolphin. Now, let's say we're on our pen paths and we just go off of our path and we can see, okay, we, we don't have anything selected and I wanna go back to my pen path and reselect it. Okay, so we're gonna go to paths here. You can go to window and then down to your paths dialog. Let's go ahead and click on our work path. I'm gonna double click it and name it Dolphin. That's just a good thing to do. And now the path is selected, but we can't edit it just yet. So let's hold Control or Command and click on our 
on the actual path. And you can see all of my control points are then available for me. And then again, I can just click on any one of my curves. I can click on any one of my points and I can click on these little control arms here as well. So controller command click off, it's not selected anymore. Controller command click back on it and it becomes selected once more. Now I'm gonna create a new path. I just wanna show you guys one thing that can happen quite a bit in Photoshop. So you're creating a path, right? And then let's just say you get off that path and you get back on it and you're like, oh, I wanna continue this path, right? Like I, I'm not done with it. Here's how you do that. Control or command, click on your path, okay? And you can see I'm still like, it's trying to make a new path right now. And I'm like, no, I wanna continue this one. Go back over to the very last point you made and you're just gonna see that little asterisk next to your pen tool. Okay, when I hover over it, you see it changes to a square with a, a little line to the left and the right, okay? That means continue your pen path. So if you've got a path and you wanna get back on it, go, go ahead and click right there and then click, boop. And there you can see now I can continue back on my pen path. And then if you wanna fish, finish it out, go back to your original one and you're gonna see a little zero or a circle next to your pen path. That's gonna allow you to complete your pen path. There we go. And again, control or command to click off of it, control or command to click back on. And you can see I can take any one of these points and move them around at any time. Again, if I wanna turn these all into angles, hold Alt or Option and just click on them. There we go, just like that. Or hold Alt or Option and click and drag on them to turn them back into curves. Oop, there we go. Now the last thing I wanna show you here, if you wanna just subtract out a point from your pen path, just hover over that point and you'll see a little minus. So you can click there and it'll just subtract it out. Sometimes this will happen. So I recommend just hold Alt or Option and then just like, you know, get these back to like regular, uh, regular angles and then hold Alt or Option and you can just kind of drag them out. There we go. If you wanna add a point, just go to where there's no point, you'll see a little plus icon, click there, and then you've got added a point, okay? And then you can hold Control or Command and move that around. Fantastic, that pen path is done. Let's go ahead and turn this dolphin uh, path into a selection. You can do that by right-clicking here in your path dialog and go to make selection, or if you're in with your pen tool, you can simply right-click and you've got this whole menu here. I'm just gonna go to make selection. We're gonna feather this by zero pixels and hit okay. And then here on our layer, I'm just gonna click on my layer mask icon. Let's go ahead and make a solid color fill layer. We'll just make that white. That's gonna be directly underneath our dolphin. Okay, and then we said we needed a little bit of cleanup here, right? Because there was a, <laughs> an area where the other dolphin's fin kind of came over here. So what I'm gonna do is create a new layer, hit S for my clone stamp tool. Okay, and then we're gonna make sure at the top here, it says sample current and below. So I'm gonna just sample right here and then we're just gonna paste right over here. Now, I'll show you my next great trick in just a second. There we go, you can see I'm just clone stamping one area of dolphin to another. That's basically what's happening here. All right, but as you can see, it's a little bit messy, right? Just a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit messy. It's kind of going off the edge of the dolphin. Living on the edge, Mr. Dolphin friend. All right, there we go. So how do I make sure there we go, beautiful dolphins. Uh, how do I make sure that uh, that this little area here is only visible where I want it to be visible? Okay, well for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip that area to my dolphin itself. All right, well, I just kind of clean this up and make sure it looks good. There we go. Okay, so how do I clip this little area to the dolphin? Well, I can just simply right click on this layer and go to create clipping mask, or I can hit Option Command G since we're talking about keyboard shortcuts. So Option Command G, that's gonna clip this. Basically, you can see it bumps it over to the right and we have a little down arrow. That's telling this layer to only be visible where the layer underneath it is visible, okay? So Option Command G, that unclips and you can see it's visible everywhere now and then clip it again and it becomes only visible where my dolphin is visible. And that's defined by my layer mask. And there we have our beautiful dolphin perfectly cut out from its background. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think of the pen tool. It took me a little while to like really get the hang of it, but now after I'm used to it, it's an invaluable and indispensable part of my tool library in Photoshop. So let me know what you guys think of the pen tool in the comments right down below. Can't wait to hear from you. I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.